What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool kind of lyric music video and it's really quick and it's relatively easy to do. So with that being said, I want to give a special thanks to Pixel Film Studios for sponsoring today's video. Also, don't forget to check them out on YouTube where they provide their own comprehensive Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering a variety of topics. You can visit their YouTube playlist, which I will link down below. So as you've seen from the beginning of the video, we're going to be creating just that. And I do want to mention, of course, again, that this video is sponsored. So I want to give a big special thanks to Pixel Film Studios as we will be using the Final Cut Pro 10 Lyric Templates plugin for Final Cut Pro. And uh, right now I have nothing in the timeline. I want to show you how to create it from scratch. Once you do have it installed and ready to go, you can find the actual plugin by going over to the titles and generators over here and you go into the titles or right on to the left here and you go to the Pixel Film Studios, the Final Cut Pro 10 Lyric Templates and here you will see hundreds upon hundreds of different presets with over 150 different categories and styles that you can choose depending on the genre of the song that you're going to be using. You can go down and you can kind of see what they are. So if I kind of preview this so you guys can see what it is. Uh, it's just a quick little kind of like a slideshow preview. So you're going to notice though that we have the two seconds, three seconds, four, five. This just tells you the duration of the actual preset that you're going to be selecting and dragging into the timeline. So this one's going to be three seconds long. Uh, if we go down, we can do like bold intro, for example. So here's another one. If I push play, just a quick little sample so you guys can see what you guys are getting in the actual plugin. So there's about 800 different preset styles that you guys can choose in this humongous plugin, which is honestly really cool. So here we have another one we have stacked. This one's really cool. It could fit the vibe of this video really great. And so with that being said, I want to show you the song that I'm going to be using. All right, guys. So the song we're going to be using in today's video is Someone New. That's the name of the song. And it is by Lupus Nocti or Nocti, I believe. His name's there if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to find it by the artist. But I'm going to leave all of the information down in the description as well, as well as a coupon code so you guys can get a discount on the actual plugin. So use coupon code KingPixelPro at checkout. So. So with that being said, I'm going to go into the timeline here and I'm going to select this portion of this clip. I'm going to press command B. I'm going to delete the beginning and I want to use this portion here. So if I push play, I think it's perfect for the actual vibe of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to then click and drag this to the beginning of the video here. I'm going to delete the rest and trim the rest because we really don't need that for now. If I push play, it's going to look like this. So right here is where she begins her first lyric or her first sentence. So in this case, we're going to go into the titles. And the one that I used was the uh, preset called Pro Lyric. And you can go from one and a half seconds all the way to six seconds. In case you're in a hurry trying to make a lyric music video, then you can just find a preset based on the uh, duration of the actual preset. But you can also customize and change the duration in the timeline, just like I'm about to show you. So you just click and drag and you move this right on your uh, playhead here. So in this case, this is where she actually begins to talk. So I'm going to move this once the actual lyric is on screen, which is going to be about here. So once it's about halfway, maybe there, I'm going to go into the inspector tab. And once we're here, you're going to go into the parameters where you can actually change all of the settings depending on the preset you have actually added into the timeline. In this case, we have these controls for this particular preset. So what I want to do is I want to change the text. So in order to change the text, you can do it by going into the actual parameters or by going over to the actual text um, or paragraph style settings where you can change this as well. I think she's saying, you know what they say. So you can do it all in one line like this. Um, it will be a little bit long or you can do, you know what, you can do you know what, and then you can press enter to create a new line, what they say. If we go back and kind of push play. You know what, they say. what we're going to do is we're gonna remove this back a little bit just like that. And from here, if we kind of hide the left panel here, we can change the text depth. It just makes it so it's a little bit more dynamic and you can increase its zoom. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that back to zero, not zero, but 35 to its default state. And you can change the opacity. So right now it's at 90%. You can decrease its opacity or you can increase it to 100%. I'm going to go to 100% for this uh, video. You can change the blend mode again. You can do like darken 
or overlay or soft light. The thing I like about this is that it's very customizable, which is really cool. And if we go down, you have the animation controls. So we, right now we have start animation controls and then we have end animation controls. So you may know, you may have noticed that the beginning it's coming from the bottom, right? That's because we have the start position set to bottom, right? But if we change this to, let's say top left, it will be the opposite in this case. So it's going to come from the top left and it's going to kind of come down just like that. And then it's going to zoom up towards the end position. You can see it's set to front, but if we do right, which is what I want. So if we go back, you're going to see it's coming in from the top left and it's going to kind of go off to the side, just like that. So now if we go back and we push play. So right about here is where she says her next sentence or her next um, line, I guess. So if I go back and push play. So what we want to do to make another lyric in this case is press command C, press command V, and this will paste it right on that playhead. So now you can go and change the text again. It just makes it a lot quicker instead of having to kind of go back into the titles here and drag it again. And it just makes it, it just makes the workflow a lot faster. So we're going to select the text and we're going to change this to the never really care. And I think it looks pretty good. We can see what it looks like on two lines, not three lines, but two lines. So it's going to look like this. They never really care. And it's going to zoom off. Now, if we go down though, you're going to notice more settings. So here we have random randomization controls. So what this will do is it will kind of randomize your uh, position. So for X, Y, and Z, so we have the random position amount. So this will allow you to change the amount of randomization, if that makes sense. So we have random rotation. So you can drag this. This will change it a little bit, make it on the x-axis, as you can see, it's kind of tilting on that x-axis. Uh, we can do rotation on the y-axis, so this controls the y, right, left and right. So we can do something like this. And then for the z-axis, this will kind of almost be like it's rotating almost. You'll notice that we have kind of this uh, texture on the text as well as on the video. So you can go and randomize this texture to create a new random texture. So it's not the same for every single uh, lyric, which is kind of cool. So we can go into texture scale and we can increase that scale or we can make it a lot smaller. I'm going to drag it up a little bit so it's a little bit more uh, visible. And then texture fall off is pretty much the texture. So it just creates a nice feather on that texture so it's not as harsh. So we increase this all the way. You're going to notice it's very visible now. But if we kind of drag it to the left, you can remove it almost entirely or make it very detailed. We're going to increase it a little bit. And you can, of course, uh, turn it off the texture by reducing its opacity or increasing it all the way. And the texture amount will allow you to change the amount of texture. So we're going to leave that how it is, just kind of change those values a little bit. So it's a little bit different than the beginning. And now if I go back and I push play. So you may notice it's a little bit short for this uh, particular line. So I'm going to click and drag this to extend its length. And this will also adjust the actual title so that it animates out. So it's really cool and it keeps its animation for the beginning and ending. I think I'm going to drag this out a lot longer to about here and I'm going to render this out as well just so you guys can see it in real time. So render selection. So now if I go back and push play. And then the next one she's going to say hey so I'm going to press command C, command V, trim this to about where it's about here. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go about halfway and I'm going to adjust the text or change the text and have it say, hey, kind of want to come from the bottom. So in this case, we're going to start it from the bottom. So it's going to come up from the bottom. And then I want it to kind of go off to the top left. So the end position is going to be top left here. So now if I render this out really quick and I push play, you're going to notice it's a lot quicker. But in this case, I'm going to make it a little bit longer just so we can see it a on screen a little longer as well. So render selection and I push play. So there's another one that you can do for this particular video that I'm showing you guys is maybe this one could work. It's called Glitter Diamonds. So this one's two seconds. So I'm gonna drag that right up over media and I'm going to change what it says here where it says insert line of lyrics. Press command V and I push play. That looks really cool. I think it's really nice for this particular uh, song. You can of course change the preset. You can change everything here. You can change the color of this. So we can go up and change the color of this to something like say blue. And here we have animate intro by, so you can do word. So you'll notice that uh, each word is coming down one by one, or you can do line. So everything will come by a line. 
And then another one that you can do is all. So this will just this show the whole entire lyric at once. If you want to do that, I'm going to go uh, by word. I think that looks best. And you can also do character as well. So it can look something like this. In this I'm going to go with the uh, bump in here and I'm going to drag this above our media. So it will kind of create a really cool and kind of retro looking energetic kind of vibe to this video. And again, you can change the text. So we're going to change that to, you know what they say. From there, we can, of course, change the face color. So maybe you don't want yellow. Maybe you want like blue. I think I kind of like that neon yellow kind of. Uh, we then have, uh, I think this is called oscillation amount. So this will just allow you to change how much it's going to kind of almost pulse. As you can see, if we move this all the way up, it's going to pulse a lot more. And I push play. This you have something that looks just like that. There's another one here as well. Ours should be separate. And I'm going to turn this one off just so you guys can see what it looks like. So it looks just like that. So again, if you want to try this out for your particular video, with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful at all, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. And also be sure to use the coupon code KingPixelPro. Until then, peace out.